before uh, we design it. So I have to say that all the leaf that are now in the market, I don't say that they will not be safe and they will not be okay in future, but at least uh, they will need to go uh, under a checking pro uh, process because for sure the load that we have to put on the leaf are different and there are a lot of new requirements concerning uh, uh, the resistance of the leaf. For example, uh, in this moment uh, there is no requirement uh, uh, giving any specification uh, on the maximum inclination that is acceptable on the lift once the lift is loaded. Now the important is that you don't have any deformation of the lift. In future, you are not allowed to have uh, any inclination, which is uh, obviously something uh, much stricter. Uh, there are new requirements also for the manual forces, but this, this is just affecting the motorcycle lift, so uh, this is not really something that interests you. Okay, so what, uh, what is really changing a lot uh, are the way we need to put the load on the lift uh, to see approved, because to see testing. This is uh, especially important uh, for the lift like the two-post lift. Uh, and uh, this is the reason why Genoa decided uh, uh, to redesign a uh, new lift in this moment because obviously we wanted to go on the market with a product that uh, uh, could be the <coughs> competitors uh, and be the first to be see approved according to the new directive. Uh, there is a, a huge difference on the way to put loads between the old directive, the old norm and the new norm. According to the new norm, uh, the maximum uh, unbalancing factor you have to consider was 60 40 for the for a lift uh, under three ton and was uh, was uh, 66 uh, 33 for a lift uh, above uh, three ton. Uh, this means uh, that the, the worst loading condition had to consider two thirds of the load on one side of the lift. On the contrary, with the new norm. Uh, for the, if, the, mm, if the lift uh, has a capacity of less than 3.5 ton, we have 60-40% uh, uh, unbalancing, like before, but the, the, loading, uh, the, mm, the loading dimensions are different. Now we have to consider that the vehicle can be loaded on two ways on the lift, uh, and this, uh, as a rough uh, idea, gives uh, a 20% uh, more unbalancing effect. So basically, we have to put on one side of the lift 20% more load than before. This is uh, obvious that uh, uh, can create a lot of problems, especially on the poorly designed lift, uh, because, uh, uh, for example, on a two-post lift, we are putting much more uh, load on, on the front. And uh, for the lift uh, with a capacity of more than 3.5 ton, for example, uh, the SLA, the TPO, the TPF, uh, uh, many of the lifts of GIMA, uh, the unbalancing factor will have to be 75% or 25%. So you can see that really the new norm is requiring a lot more weight put on only one side of the lift. The new norm is especially critical for, uh, for two-post lift, so I believe that this will be pretty interesting for all of you, because uh, the, the unbalancing factor on two-post lift uh, will be extremely critical, and uh, I guess that uh, most of the two-post lift that are on the market in this moment uh, will not be compliant to the new requirement. The new requirement uh, uh, will need uh, a, a complete uh, redesigning uh, on the arms for sure, uh, but also on the way the lift uh, is uh, uh, connected to the floor. This means uh, that the arms will need to be heavily reinforced, uh, I believe. But also the anchors will need to be much, much stronger because the load on the lift will be extremely more important. Another very important uh, modification 
that will be introduced uh, with the new norm is concerning the mechanical connection of the element. This means uh, that, uh, for example, uh, all the, the in this moment all the mechanical connection of the lifting element. Uh, to say, I mean, uh, the, the cables on a tumor lift uh, or the torsion bar on a scissor lift uh, do not need to uh, undergo any kind of loading requirement. In this moment, it is enough that they uh, behave as a, a synchronizing device. In the future, they will need to sustain the load, uh, the full load of the lift, uh, which means that many of the tumor lifts that are on the market in this moment and I, I would say 100% of the lift uh, using a cable as a synchronizing device will need to be redesigned. Those are some examples of the lift uh, that we need to, uh, to, not to undergo a redesigning uh, to post lift, <coughs> platform lift with the torsion bar, schistor lift with the torsion bar. There are also new requirement concerning the pickup plates, which means uh, that uh, the, the, the extensions, the, the pickup plates extension will need to be uh, much, much better made and for sure uh, it will not be acceptable uh, any kind of uh, pickup plate uh, uh, like this one that has a lot of plate. Uh, another requirement is concerning the roll-off safety devices, uh, which means uh, uh, in this moment uh, all the platform lift obviously need to have uh, a, a pickup plate to prevent the vehicle to roll off uh, from ro rolling off the, the platform. Uh, there is no requirement in this moment concerning the, the resistance of those uh, roll-off uh, uh, devices. In future, they will have to withstand the horizontal load of 20% of the rated load of the lift, which means that they will be heavily stressed. Okay, this is uh, another thing. Uh, I think we can uh, uh, stop this presentation because uh, uh, this is done. Uh, we go on the presentation of the Oh, yes. Uh, do you guys want to have a tea brief? We have lots of uh, stuff there. Okay. So, so they have, uh, if you have any questions uh, concerning the new norm, uh, go on. Okay. 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 Uh,